Nix pifip, nix pifip, nix pifip, double twitch baby, nix pifip, nix pifip, nix pifip. Hello? What's oh, I've got my hair. Oh, hello? Ow, I don't know what I did in my ear. Dude, I don't I hope these bangs grow out soon. What's poppin'? Off, hello. The fuck, butter dog? Popcat on the screen. 
How tall am I? Jesus. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> 14 feet tall. Thank you, Ginger. The thrift store jean jacket I got for like $5. Happy Turkey Day if you're American. Happy any other fucking. <laughs> any other Thursday if you're not American. Ugh. Oh shit, Ginger, thank you for the 18 months. Why'd you do that? Why do you guys do that when I'm not here? Why do you do that during the opening screen? <laughs> A lot of people have an extra mush DIY, and I'll take that if I don't get it by the time uh, November's over, but, like, it's principle now. It's the principle of it. But, I wanna look at... I wanna do some of the event? Oh my god, my hair's a fucking mess. I wanna do some of the event today? some maybe some mushroom hunting it depends on like when we have a turkey in the oven when the turkey is ready to come out and set i will be done now i'm calling it turkey day i want it to be turkey day the day i eat turkey Also, thank you for the follow. Oh, hmm. Uh, I will... <laughs> Forgot this is where we were emotionally last stream. Look, last stream's title was Every time I get... I don't get a mushroom DIY from a balloon, I add another mushroom on screen. I forgot this is where we were. <laughs> Oh, this cute. Hold on, let me move these into a folder so I can just, like, hide them. Okay. Where'd the mushroom folder go? Fixed. Oh, my camera's fucked, huh? I just don't- I don't know what to do with the bangs. Since I cut them too short, they can't- oh, there's one stray mush! Damn. I can't grab them. Oh, there he is. Uh, I just don't know what to do with the bangs. I can't do the curtain thing, because that's what they were supposed to be. And if I, like, just pushing them to the side looks wild. So this is, this is how we live now. I mean, they're not quite straight across because, like, my part fucks them up. They're close. Ugh. See, like, if I push them to the side, like, what the fuck is that? Bruh. Ooh, this music. Chumpy wants up already. It's cat time. Cat time! <coughs> Come on! 
I just, I just got this blanket just right there. Hello. Coming up or not? Come here. I don't want to pick you up. Pick it up. You're delaying my ability to play video games. Where are you? Yeah, from under there. You see her little shadow? Come on. There she is. Come on up. Say hi to the people. Here she is. Hold on, let me check my mail. So you don't have to hear that. Oh, yeah? You fucking tell them. Here she is. Let them know. Man, my pop filter. You're gonna unplug this. It's cat hours. She unplugged my mic last night when I was on Discord from headbutting it so much. What the fuck is happening? Hi, Jess. Hi, Bailey. After today, she gets to have her Christmas collar on. Look at his little paw. Look at that little paw. Alright, can I play my game now? Ma'am? Oh, okay. Let's play it. Oh, that might be a little loud for you guys. Oh, that doesn't- you look like you're dead hanging off of my fucking knees, chumby. Chumby doesn't make biscuits very often. <laughs> no, I don't have anything. Because I brought Merkel her stuff to her island last time I played. <laughs> Uh, it tastes pretty good. It, I mean, it's not done though, like, uh... Brain. Why do you look like you're holding on for dear life? Hi, Anti. Um, like all of the side dishes, when the turkey comes out to rest for like 20 minutes before you carve it, they go in, so they're all prepped, but none of them are, like, done. Hi, Wind! Where did this thing go? Oh my god, why is she here, though? Dude, I can't see with you. Oh, all right. Why is Diary trying to start a fight with Merkel when she already wants to throw hands with him is the real question. That's the real question here. Merkel already would punch Diary for any given second. Oh, let's make the character look like me. Oh, oh, here it comes. Do it to him, do it to him, do it to him. Fight, 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 yeah! <laughs> For context, 
Merkel's been trying to get a 3070 graphics card for like a week, just refreshing and refreshing. And there was a chance that D-Roy could have bought one in Canadian, had it shipped to him, and then shipped it to Merkel. And he just said, nah, and Merkel lost it. <laughs> Apparently they sold out anyway, but it, <laughs> Merkel was very mad. <laughs> I don't know why Dior is trying to fight her when she's already angry. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Dior. You just said nah. It could have been real, and you still said nah. So <laughs> justified in angry Merkel. <laughs> I gotta upgrade my graphics card too, but we'll see if there are any good, <laughs> any good ones. Oh, this is pretty close, right? We got match. I enjoy matching my Animal Crossing character to me as closely as possible. Gumby thrives off of fighting. What do you mean? Nah, made this one. Do we have a hat or no hat? That's cute. All my villagers are wearing a hat, so I won't wear a hat. Hell yeah. Gumby is so comfy right now. I just think these hats look so cozy. Oh, show me my back. Thanks. Murph's home, so she's gonna go bother Murph, for sure. Ah! Got late. Happy 21 months. It's my boyfriend in the other room. How did I get here? He's playing- I don't know what game he's playing. Something he got, uh... On sale. It's some RTS game. I think. We're turn-based. Okay. Let's start this. I will... He's not in here. He doesn't- he doesn't know how Twitch work. This is cute. What we doing, friends? No, I don't- I don't- there's no way I'm getting like a fucking 3070. That's too expensive. I can't afford to, like, do that much of an upgrade. No, I'm- that's Merkel! I'm not getting a new gen graphics card. I just want somewhat of a, a small upgrade so that I can stream certain games without my shit. I can get by for a while with, like, just a slight upgrade. I can't afford, like, these big boy upgrades. Why do I... Oh. Here we go. Hi, Mon. 
Franklin. Okay, where is this thing? Brooklyn linked a thing that has the secret ingredient that I need to bring for each of these, so let me grab that. I know she told she told me you were coming over. I'm playing Animal Crossing while I wait for the turkey to cook. <laughs> wait, how do you have good enough internet to fuck like open stream at mom's? My brain's buffering. There it is. One scallop is the thingy, okay. Is this just like a bunch of little dumb collect, collect, collect quests? <laughs> Came to see the beagles. Wait, did you bring food to eat over there? Or are you just stopping by for a few minutes? Nana responded, I think. <laughs> Nana put in her response that she can't wait for this shit to be over so she can come to Vegas. Ah! Random bits. Hashtag blame the cat. <laughs> Angry canine, thank you for the biddies. Blame her for what, though? For the biddies? I appreciate it, thank you. Clam! That's not where that is. That's fair. Oh, this piece of air. Hey, Kayla, how long are you staying at mom's? Because I know she said they weren't not they're not like uh, getting together at Aunt Bev's house because the cases in the area have spiked a fuck ton. They've spiked here too. They've spiked, ev they've spiked everywhere. <laughs> That's what happens when you think something's over and stop doing the things that make it okay. I have to swim for a scallop, don't I? In this weather? Are you streaming on Christmas? I don't know, because I'm going to be alone for Christmas. Most likely. Because Murph's going back to West Virginia. In the middle of nowhere. But, uh... I have people in my family that are immunocompromised. So I don't want to go back to the East Coast. And then... Uh... If I go to the East Coast, my Nana will come see me. And I don't want that. She's very... She is, she's high risk. I hope I'll be alone, Jesus. I don't mind. We just celebrate Christmas like the day before he leaves. I work on Christmas too, technically, so it doesn't matter. Anyway.
Where's my wetsuit? Can you put the wetsuit on the wand yet? Also, it is wild that this motherfucking turkey is making me go deep diving in the middle of fucking November. Oh, it's in tools, isn't it? Send you presents? No. We have... There's a fucked... Oh my god. I forgot we need to start Christmas shopping soon because I always... I, for some reason, conveniently forget that how many nieces and nephews were fast. Where is it the others? Uh... Six. Six. Six nieces and nephews. Luckily, um... My family... For, like, the cousins and stuff, we do... A secret Santa, so we each get one person that we give gifts to. We don't just give gifts to- because my cousins and I are all pretty close. I go. I wanna jump. He does- uh, Murph does the same thing with his siblings. Yeah, secret Santa! Who- are you doing that again this year, Kayla? Are you in charge of it by default again? <laughs> Yeah. Strawberry, I also don't know why they expect me to have all this shit when they haven't given me enough storage until this update to stockpile. We should do a... a like a... like House Secret Santa since we didn't get to do an actual... Why he- why are you running? Why are we going so fucking fast, dude? I think- so the... Like, doing Secret Santa in a large group is a little weird because then you pretty much just have to do, like, virtual Steam gifts. Because if you're in a group of people, not everybody's comfortable with each other knowing where they live. Why are we going so fucking fast?! Look at this guy. What in the fuck? Look at him! Why are we going so fast, dude? No, swim faster. What the f- I'm- I'm at my limit with whatever this is. He got tired, I got him. Why oh, you like this, Jelly? Can I get a scallop? Jelly likes does shit like this and then wonders why he gets bullied all the time.
This is not a bully-free zone. Otherwise, all my chat would be banned for bullying me nonstop. Yeah, next time you're stranded, good fucking luck, bud. You're gonna be living in that damn grocery store. I'm not coming to get you or D-Roy. Y'all can live there until 3 a.m. I'm of the opinion if your chat doesn't bully you a fair amount of the time, your chat's not good. I gotta make fun of you when you do dumb shit, and 90% of what I do is dumb shit. Can I get a- like... I'm tired of this. Come here. <laughs> Wanna become famous? I have to keep updating the list of like auto auto stuff for the bot to time that out. I mean, it times out anyway cuz it's a link, but They just keep getting more creative. They keep putting quirky letters in there so that they can bypass people's auto mods as if most people don't have links restricted. I'm pretty sure most people do have links restricted. What in the goddamn fucking sea monster ass bullshit? I haven't gotten a single fucking scallop. Imagine. Scallop! No, you. <sighs> I can't give this to you, bud. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> no, I can't. I need this scallop. Or to cook with. Dude, I love the event music, though. <laughs> it's not his scallop, it's my scallop! A balloon! I okay, hold on. Let me just. Turkey day. Hi, Mandy. Wait, but how do I do the secret ingredient? <laughs> Why did Brooklyn send me this? <sighs> I probably should have like read the words, huh? I don't understand. Oh, 
Oh, I have to do this regularly first. I just got rid of all my bumpkins. I hope I have some leftover pumpkins. The clap was in sync with Popcat, was it? Wonderful. Actually, do I... I think I dropped some around for decor. Fuck, I don't know if I still have pumpkins left over. Yeah, but those are not edible bumpkins anymore. These ones are not eatable. Pumpkin! Wow, imagine. <laughs> Gritty post? Okay. How I make my gravy... <laughs> what in the goddamn fuck? Gritty really do be shit posting. Send gravy pics. Gritty shit posting gravy. No. Just click on it's just gritty with a fucking It's just gritty with a gravy boat with straws in it. I don't okay, so I don't understand why people buy pre-made gravy, like. So, two years ago, when I we made like I made my first Thanksgiving meal for myself because I wasn't near home with my parents, uh, I like forgot to buy stuff to like my mom used a gravy packet. <gasps> Wait, I do have pumpkins. Uh, my mom used like a packet of gravy. So I was like, "Fuck! I didn't buy a packet of gravy. Guess we're not having gravy." But then, like, do you know how to make just delicious gravy? You just take... You just take the extra juices from the turkey and you put it in a roux. And that's it. There's your gravy. Yeah, you take the turkey drippings. There's the scallop. You take the turkey drippings, you put it in a roux so that it's thick. You can add some, like, chicken broth if you think that you don't have enough drippings. That's it, man. As long as you seasoned your turkey well before you put it in. Like, that's the shit right there. Which, we don't cook our stuffing in the turkey, but I do shove a bunch of vegetables in the turkey so that the drippings is good. Yeah, but I mean, if you are- like, I'm saying I- if you forgot. Like, if you're just gonna buy pre-made gravy, it's not... Why, though? <laughs> Turkey Day Wheat Decor. I don't know. My mom used to make a lot of stuff from like a... Packages. Because she said it was easier. And then I've learned as I've started cooking that like... It's not... Like, it's not that hard though. <laughs> and it tastes so much better. Like, she used to do pre-made mac and cheese. This is... The mac and cheese... Wait, where did my other... Bumpkin go? Did I not pick up a bumpkin? 
Why wouldn't he take it? Murph made stuffing this year. He made stuffing and green bean casserole and dessert, and I made the turkey, mashed potatoes, and macaroni and cheese. It's a lot of food for literally just two of us. No, not... He didn't put... Well, it's... It's too much. It's too much. Too hectic. Too much of a mess. No. I made my own cheese sauce. I used penne pasta because the ridges will collect more of the sauce. And then I layered it with more cheese and it has a crispy top. So it is... It's not stovetop bullshit. I mean, you do start it on the stovetop, though. But it needs to be baked. Oh. Madeline, thank you for follow. Madeline, look, the el first of all, the technical, like, this elbow noodles, I don't want the elbow noodles. They're smooth, and the, the sauce strips off of them more. The penne noodles get the sauce all up in them and all over the place. Yeah, pan drippings. Wait, how do I get him to do the, the the pumpkin buy? Oh, I need a yellow pumpkin. I don't know that I have a yellow pumpkin. Fuck. Yeah, that for sure sounds like a cookbook. Yeah, it's literally just put the drippings in with some roux. I mean, you could also use the, uh... Most turkeys come with at least the turkey neck. <laughs> so I don't like green bean casserole, but Murph likes it. That's why he makes it. I don't like green bean casserole. Hi, Lorenzo. Welcome. I need a yellow pumpkin, and I don't think I have a yellow pumpkin lying out. Fuck. I don't think I just have a yellow pumpkin laying out. Oh, you know what? I might have it in the pumpkin patch. <gasps> Bless. No, I mean, it's not bad. It's just I don't love it. Murph hasn't found a recipe that he super loves yet. Oh, bless the pumpkin patch! Yes! Okay. Green bean casserole looks disgusting. It's not bad, though. It's just not my favorite. Pop cat. The balloon! Let me go! The balloon! Let me go! Let me go! There's a balloon! Sir! <laughs> Please! Sir! Balloon! The balloon! Balloon! Where'd it go? <laughs> 
Did it despawn? No. I hear it. I hear it. Where is it? Y'all, I hear it. Where's this balloon at? Balloon. Oh, it's a DIY balloon. Give. Can I please? Like, why must I suffer like this? Why must I suffer in this way? I didn't ask for this. Wait, what did he need? An oyster and a muscle? Oh. He doesn't need a mushroom. What? Oh, I don't have- I'm an idiot. I need to get a muscle. Fuck yeah. Back to swimming in the very cold ocean. Bye bye Wait, why can't I just jump? This game sucks. Let me jump. Time to swim! I do want to get more buff also. That's unrelated to what we're doing. Can I just... Yeah, we play in mermaids now. You can have this one, bud. You can have this one. That's fine. What do you mean, how do we cook it? My character is me. <laughs> Do I look like Carrot Top? Maybe a little bit. No, no deep fried turkey. I'm making the turkey. It's too much effort. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I make it like a normal way. I like pat its skin dry. And I season the inside of it. And then I put butter and like celery and carrots and onions and garlic inside of it. And then I put butter and seasoning under the skin. And then I put seasoning, a fuck ton of seasoning on the skin because the turkey is so big like you have to season the outside a lot because there's so much, like, meat throughout. 
and then you put it in the oven covered. Uh, 15 minutes per pound is usually the, uh, the golden rule. 15-ish minutes per pound until the inside is, like, at 165 Fahrenheit. So for us, that was, like, four, almost five hours that it needs to be in. We got, like, two more hours or so left. But our oven sucks, so it's probably gonna take a little longer. I don't know. See, I don't... Like, they... <laughs> yeah. Like, so, I... Th what is the... I think... Two pounds per, like... I don't know. There's, like, a ratio that you can do depending on how many people you are serving. Murph and I... Or Murph, because he bought it, essentially bought... A turkey big enough to feed a family of seven. So, if you want leftovers, you also need to get more than the people you're feeding. Murph got the same size turkey that my family gets for our Thanksgiving. Yeah, for a gathering though, Jelly. We got a 19 pound one. 18 to 20 is the average for like a gathering of people. We are not a gathering of people, it's just two of us. <laughs> I don't think we have a muscle. We still don't have a muscle. I mean, hey, I like turkey sandwiches, so I don't mind. But I season the fuck out of the skin, because... The... It's like, it's a lot of meat under the skin that's not gonna get seasoned because turkeys is thick how many oysters wait can i even get mussels i haven't even like thought of that it might not be like the time frame to get mussels Oh, no, they are active. The fuck? Where's my muscles then? See, there is nothing smaller than 19 when we're to the start. Hi, Feedy. I know. Drunk. Your turkey should my okay. I feel like people who complain about turkey being dry have parents that don't have a a meat thermometer. Cause like the people, I feel like people overcook the turkey because they're afraid that it's gonna be raw. I always start checking it like 30 minutes before it should be done. When Okay, so like 30 minutes before it's supposed to be done, you're supposed to take the tinfoil off so the skin gets crispy without drying it out. I, I start checking the internal temperature then. like, And then I do that like every 15 or so minutes. So that as soon as it hits 165 and it's not going to poison me... Then I take it out, and then you let it... Then you let it set for a while. I have to go empty. You let it sit for a while? So that it can reabsorb all the juices? And then you cut it. If you cut it right away, all the juices... It's, you have to let your meat rest. Solid advice in general. <laughs> so let your meat rest. I stand by what I said. No solid advice for all situations. <laughs> it's just, yeah, let your meat rest. Why we going so fucking fast? 
What are you? Ew! <gasps> what are you? I love him! Wait, look at him! Just leave it where it is, Jelly. Is that the, those are its eyeballs! Merkel! It's its eyeballs, nasty! Eyes up here. <laughs> Thing of yitty. By the way, guys, did you know if you go to Steam and sort by uh, under five dollars and then sort from lowest to highest, you do get absolutely nothing but weird hentai yitty games? You rest your turkey on a drying tray. I have my my turkey already. When I put it, my turkey in the pan, like the big turkey pan, I always put a uh, like a little mesh rack to keep it up so that the bottom of it doesn't get soggy from the Can juice that comes hell out. Yeah. Hell yeah! Hell, hell yeah! Oh, <laughs> Hi, Black Block. Thank you for the host. I also put, um... I, I put extra yeah. vegetables on the bottom with a little bit of water and chicken broth so that it gets steamy. Thank you for the host, sisters. coffee the last two years I've tried to go to like a usually Dutch Brothers a coffee place on Thanksgiving and then <laughs> give extra tip because I feel bad those people have to work on Thanksgiving but like they're gonna have to work whether I go or not so I go and give a give big tip uh what is the link? Why don't you stuff the turkey with the stuffing? It fucks with the cook time and the evenness of the stuffing. Sure. I will do- if you post something wild that's wildly inappropriate, I will just ban you. Oh, that's absolutely- yeah, I don't need to look at this. I already read it. It is... <sighs> People do not know how to read uh, user agreements further, because if you go to the actual page that this woman links, it says that there are- that you can get in trouble for monetizing the content unless you fall under their exceptions, and then you go to a separate link, that has their list of exceptions of people who will not get in trouble, and it includes Twitch partners, Twitch affiliates, YouTube partners. So this new rule is mostly just targeting like big companies like Chuck E. Cheese or uh... No, I'm affiliate though. The it basically anybody who is on some sort of streaming platform in which there's a program where that platform puts ads on your stuff regardless of whether you choose to or not, you're- it, it's ex, it's an exception. You won't get in trouble. I'm an affiliate, so. Uh, but I think that's more to target big companies like Chuck E. Cheese and Wendy's and all these other big fucking brands that were using Animal Crossing to advertise. And then, uh, or like even political, like Joe Biden's island. Uh, and then also it targets people who were selling in-game stuff for real-life money. But no, if you just read a little further, you are- you- you don't- you won't get in trouble if you're a Twitch streamer. 
because if you're not an affiliate and you're streaming, you don't make any money from streaming anyway. If you're not an affiliate, there's no way for you to monetize your content, so you're good. Rifkin sent me that, and I saw it and freaked out, and then looked and knew it some more, and this is something to forget about. Nintendo's not stupid. Nintendo tried DMCAing their, uh, their game content a couple years ago. And it went horribly, and they reverted it pretty quickly. Once they realized that it was dumb. Yeah, it's just a child casino, Mandy. I mean... From what I've seen, Blizzard isn't really supporting StarCraft very much anymore, right? Like, isn't there gonna be something with their servers? I think it's smart for him to start transitioning into other stuff. Or did I misread that? I, re I remember seeing a bunch of StarCraft streamers tweeting out about how Blizzard really isn't gonna be doing much support going forward. Yeah, well, that's if it so like if this has been his job for the last however many years Going down with the Starcraft shift ship without having any backup is like Super stupid because then what is he gonna do? financially afterwards like it's better to start integrating now than it would be to wait for StarCraft to, like, die off completely and then try to integrate elsewhere. Also, like, Among Us is just fun. All right, what am I, what's this next one I'm doing? A sea bass, a red snapper. I don't want a fish. I hate fishing. I would rather pass away. You hear balloon. Uh, among Us has something Fall Guys doesn't, which is that, like, Fall Guys becomes incredibly repetitive, whereas Among Us, because it's a mind game mostly, has endless possibilities as long as you start, like, if you diversify who you play with. To be fair, though, most gaming companies don't know how to deal with going viral. They just, like, get popular for a little bit and then fall off because they don't know how to capitalize on that like I know people hate Fortnite but Fortnite is a very good example of a company that like took an initial virality and like kept it going for multiple months and by months I mean years <laughs> and like fall uh, like Fortnite's not irrelevant now either like it still has a pretty massive player base I wouldn't say it's as big as it once was but it's not irrelevant Yeah, and that's the thing. Epic does have the resources to do that. Among Us doesn't necessarily, but Among Us has more isn't as repetitive as Fall Guys is. You gotta donate all this shit. I mean, a player base is a player base is a player base. It doesn't matter how old your player base is if you have a player base. Yeah, exactly.
No, I mean, like, Among Us has a- like, there are a ton of, uh, content creators that are not typically game content creators that have been playing Among Us. Because it's like, it's- and there are tons of people who don't typically play video games playing Among Us because it's essentially just a tabletop game. It's- Among Us is just a tabletop game. <laughs> with- with some- some overlay. That's it. I think Among Us will continue to be something that streamers play to interact with other streamers. I don't know it'll be something that everybody binges near constantly, the way that they do currently. Offline TV is a group of content creators who, like, I don't watch offline TV content as a whole, but it does have uh, content creators that I've watched for a long time, like Lily Pichu or Skara. I learned how to play mid lane by watching Skara in League a long time ago. Yeah, Toast is very good at strategy games. That's why his Among Us shit pops off so hard, because he's very good at strategy games. He's a Hearthstone streamer. Alright, uh... What do I need for this? A sea bass? It's fucking easy. Alright, well, I guess I need to use my other control. I need to use the Joy Cons if I'm gonna go fishing. Because the vibration on this controller doesn't work. Yeah. Actually, let me go to the bathroom real quick before I start fishing. If it's a sea bass, if I can't find a sea bass, when every other time I fish, it's nothing but sea bass. I'm fucking it. freak out.
Primus. So I hear a balloon. Hair is messed. <laughs> balloon? <laughs> balloon? It's another fucking- I'm tired of these gold balloons. I'm at the point it had it with these damn balloons not giving me a mushroom DIY. Some bullshit. Does your stomach hurt because you haven't eaten food? Because that always happens to me on Thanksgiving. Because I eat breakfast and then I don't really eat lunch because typically the food is ready between lunch and dinner. I don't think I even... Yeah, I don't even have a fishing rod on me. I'm so bad at fishing, I don't want to fish. Yeah, Thanksgiving sucks is because, like, you don't want to eat any food until the good food is ready, but then you end up literally dying of starvation. What is happening to my shirt before the food even gets here or gets ready? Fishing rod? All right, so what, or I need a sea bass and a red. Or one dab. Oh, that should be easy. The knife jaw is almost gonna be a difficult. Bum, 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 bum. One whole dab. Hello, Mr. Fish. What is this hair doing? Up? Jelly. Hello, Mr. Fish. Hell yeah, a dab. A dab for a dab. Oh, I got both of the ones that I needed for the second ingredient. Now I need a sea bass. Josh, go bib? Wait, no, Josh wasn't here earlier, were you? Josh, wake up from bib? <sighs> You're right. Look, I haven't fished in a while, though, so I figure, like, I might as well collect some of the garbage baby fish that I have not, because I hate fishing so much. I despise it. Fishing sucks. Because my reaction times are garbage. 
That's why fishing sucks. Is it? Yeah, it's because I'm bad at fishing. I'm very aware I'm bad at fishing. Can I get... Some fun lag. I think it depends on the streamer. After a certain point, if you have too much in chat and or depending on the game you're playing, there's like too much to pay attention to. Is the see best? Yep. Thick. Did it. Now I have to look up the knife thing. My bangs are very much bothering me today. I don't know what to do with them. To get them to look okay, they gotta be in my face, but then I don't want them in my face. Strawberry, please. Alright, what's this last one I need? Oh, okay. It's a fish found in the ocean. Wait. I don't have it. I don't think I can get this guy. Also, balloon. Balloon. Balloon! This guy's a southern hemisphere. If Why does it give me yellow balloons? Oh, you caught it? So you can catch it. Okay. We got it. Hey, we got a DIY. It's ocean fish, right? What size is it? Is it a big boy? It looks like a big boy. Smaller than sea. Okay, it's like the mid tier. Thank you? I think you might be a sea bass. There, look at the. Okay, fuck you. Mush umbrella is not a mush lamp. We're coming up on the time where I need to t check the internal temp of my turkey. That we can see, uh,. How much longer it needs to cook? If it needs- if it's significantly lower than it should be, then I will stream myself grinding for the mushroom DIY. <laughs> if it's on schedule, then I will turn stream off. Well, no, because I still- it needs like 40 minutes. Uncovered. Maybe I won't turn stream off. Mr. Fish! Wow. 
My hair is bothering me. The bangs were such a mistake. I don't think they look bad, they're just like annoying to deal with. Is the thing. In order to make them look good, they have to annoy me greatly. Hi, Kinsey. To be fair, this is an impromptu stream. While we wait for my Thanksgiving to finish. Uh, they weren't supposed to be this short. I messed up. I was just supposed to like trim my face framing bits back to being face framing bits and I had a bunch of coffee and nothing to eat that day and my hands were shaking and I cut them too short to be face framing bits. I, I mean, I don't. <laughs> I get, like, overall, I get it all chopped off one length at, like, fucking great clips because I don't trust myself to do it straight across evenly. But then I trim my own face framey bits. Because I also don't trust great clips to do that without accidentally giving me bangs, but here we are. Welcome back, Midnight Raven. I did not. When did it come out and how much is it? Because I might get it for stream on Sunday. Since we're not doing Animal Crossing Community Day, we're just doing like... an easy game Community Day. Can I get this angle, please? What do you mean the Thanksgiving event? We've been doing the Thanksgiving event. What? What game is it? Hi sisters, happy Thanksgiving, if you celebrate it. What big part? I'm- I'm doing the last, um... Secret recipe. There's a fun part? What do you- what the f- What do you mean? There's more than just fucking bringing food to this turkey? gonna end himself? Dude, why are the Joy-Con, like, uh, analog stick so wild? Yeah, it is. That's why I was looking at. I was looking to see if there are any dumbass, like, simulator games under $1 to get to fuck around with on stream. Fuck! But then I ended up sorting by lowest price and there is just a metric fuck ton of titty games nothing but titty games for 49 cents i've not gotten the mush lamp god wants me to suffer well i haven't been grinding for it much to be fair we are I've only been doing the the Thanksgiving event this stream. I don't get this fucking fish. I'm gonna make freaking lose it. Horse has not left.
No, I need... I need uh, the secret ingredient. Fish. I put me on this earth to suffer. Fucking around. Why though? You? Trust me. Come here, Mr. Fish. go home. I don't want to play this video game anymore! I'm trying to get the, um, knifed whatever draw for the secret ingredient. There's a secret ingredient. Here's a little chef's outfit! Yes! Thank you! Oh yeah, I already was doing it. <laughs> Raven, thank you though. Thank you, Moose, my homie. Oh, look how happy they are with their little plates! So cute. Fuck you, Jelly. I have- I need to- I wanted to add that to my wish list, actually. Thank you. Because... It looks cute as fuck. Oh, it's like super cheap right now. Oh, wait, it's like a dollar. I'm gonna get it real quick. <laughs> Yoink. Yoink my game now. Ooh, I wonder if Garden Pause is on sale. Do this later. <laughs> Everything is complete. Why the fuck? Yay! 
Kabo kabo. Oh yeah, what's happening? Oh yeah. Why are we question marking? Jesus Christ, Rufian. Holy shit. Hello, friends. Whoa. What's happening? <laughs> Thank you guys for the followers. Jesus. Are we, what, why did Rifkin tell you to question mark me? What's the DIY? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus Christ, the followers going ham. I don't understand. <laughs> Oh god, I'm sitting on my controller. Jesus Christ, thank you guys for the follow us. Rifkin, how's your stream? Now that we have slowed down. I wanna be a cowboy, baby. I wanna be a cowboy, baby. Hell yeah. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> but why the question marks? Oh. Thanks, Ripken. I'm just waiting for my turkey to finish cooking. <laughs> Wait, what were you playing, though? I hit the thing and then I like, didn't read. Among Us! Alright, I think this is where the balloons are coming from. So now, y'all. What? What's wrong? What tulip? Got you. Well, welcome to Aminal Crossing. <laughs> Much different than Among Us. Well, guys, we finished the. Uh... We just finished the Thanksgiving stuff for Animal Crossing, which means let me change the title back to We Are Now Going to Suffer for a Mushroom. We gotta manifest the mushroom. So every time I don't get a mushroom DIY from a balloon, I will just continue to add a mushroom to the screen. So let's bring it back. Why is Cat Jam up here and just giant? It's Pop Cat. Yeah, mushrooms are back. I will continue to do this until I crash my PC. A lot of followers, thank you guys. I know most of you probably only watch Among Us and or StarCraft. Hi Darius! Where the fuck are the DIY balloons? Missy Innocent, thank you for the follow. Hold on. When, when the thing stops going off, I will just read off all the names and mispronounce them horribly. It's fine. This is now going to become me trying to get a mushroom lamp for an hour until my food's done. 
Jesus, it just keeps going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. <laughs> so we don't have to hear it quite as loud. Wait. Oh, that turned all of it down now. I want to be a cowboy, oh. baby. I want to be a cowboy, baby. It is cowboy hours, I guess. I want to be a cowboy, Why can't I turn this alert down? I want to be a cowboy, baby. I want to be a cowboy, <laughs> I love the alert. I just feel like it's probably very annoying for you guys. Have an idea. Now, so if y'all hear a balloon, you gotta let me know. <laughs> Thank I you. Somebody's over there on her her chair. He's vibing on the chair. I did hydrate. Wait, how far back are we in the follows? Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> so many. I don't- I don't make the kitty come on stream. She comes on stream when she feels like it. This is a very dumb. Let me. I want my regular controller back. Very I dumb time period in my Animal boy, Crossing baby. stream in which I, I sit here and wait for balloons boy, to spawn and try to get a cute little mushroom lamp from Chance, which I, I have. It's taken me baby. too long because everyone else has gotten duplicates and I haven't, and I'm losing my mind. You can. Uh, you stop. The 30th is when you stop getting the mushroom DIYs. This is now just a mushroom DIY. I want to be a do you want up? You come say hi to all new followers? I want to be a cat. I want to be a cowboy, baby. Thank you all for the follows. Come on. You can do I it. Y'all haven't heard baby. balloon, have you? You're supposed I to be on spawn. <laughs> balloon! Oh, oh, there it is! Baby. It's not dark. Why are you over the river? Come on, come on up. I'm gonna pick you up. Oh my god. <laughs> Ma'am? Do 
like to come up? Stop being creepy. I want to be a cowboy, baby. I want to be a cowboy, baby. Griff came raided me. That's why. Griff came raided me with a bunch of people. Chumby! Oh my god. Will you take me back? Hey. Lazy baby. I want to be a cowboy, baby. Get on the knees. She usually jumps up on her own, but she's being a big baby today. Come on, there you go. Balloon! I know. Balloon, Chumpy. Well, I guess it's just. Please. <laughs> My balloon. Where'd it go? Where is it? Shut down. Where'd the balloon go? Did it flutter away entirely? This is there! Go! I can't hear it. Is it still there? Can you guys hear it? I got this hat on. Rip balloon. Thank you, everybody, for the follows. I appreciate it. Cowboy baby. Missed it. We got a cat now. Since no balloons are gonna spawn for another few minutes, this cat. Good little cat. What do you guys say to the people? Hmm? Make good points. Those are some fair points, ma'am. What are you looking at? Hey, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Look at look at the cat. Oh, over here. Oh, what the fuck is this stance? Hold up. Yo, what is this? <laughs> what is this stance? Punchback of Notre Dame. Oh, you can see my green. Edge of my greens. I think I hear a balloon too. Balloon. We just started hunting and no. She learned the gremlin stance from the best. Wait, that's really cute though. They had gifts everywhere for you. Wait, I heard the balloon. Where is it? Y'all hear that? I feel like I'm going insane. Where is the balloon? He looks dead. Farming for this mushroom DIY is hell. Kiki, thank you for the follow. Okay, I guess there wasn't a balloon. He said. Cat? Okay, you wanna get 
comfier? Like, I don't understand what the stance is that you're doing. It's so wild. Like, what it... What is that? Oh, that's better. Okay. Well, there you go. Get to put on your Christmas collar tomorrow. She has resting angy face. So. She always looks mad. Up, oh, you can see your face. There you go. Hi, Tom. Ah, you sent me the eye. She does look like a Papega. Pull her. <laughs> Pull a Papega. Now this cat is not food motivated whatsoever. She has a... Yeah, she's got a little heart nose. She has a feeder that constantly puts out food for her when she runs out and she doesn't, like, go through it very quickly. She wants attention is what she wants. So, because Murph tried to be funny earlier and washed his hands and then touched her while his hands were wet. Oh, wait, it's not mushroom spawning time. He touched her while his hands were wet, so then she smells like hand soap. <laughs> Are you good? Why she looks so like disgruntled today? Cats normally don't smell like anything to me, or at least she doesn't. She's a clean cat. Not nasty. Except for when she gets outside and rolls in dirt. You're welcome. The cat is a regular occurrence on stream because she does like watching video games for short periods of time and being pet. I have to get the cat cam set back up so that you can, you guys can see her sleeping on her chair covered in stuffed animals. Are you done now? Okay, goodbye. Go make your rounds. She's gonna go get pets for Murph now. <clears throat> Thank you. Wait, balloon? Y'all hear that? Y'all hear something? Please? <gasps> please, God, please. We have... It's been like... Overall 20 hours of farming for this mushroom DIY. Can I have it? Another mushroom goes on screen. Where is the, ch the Yoda? Uh, it's on the stuffed animal chair. He's right here. I don't- so like, I haven't progressed to the point of mental instability where I feel like I need to hold the baby Yoda so I don't cry. So he goes back now. We're not quite there yet this stream. We haven't spiraled that far yet. Also, uh, Nixa Rose, thank you for the follow-up. Well. Uh, no, you can play solo. Um, playing with other people can help you progress faster and make it more fun, but, uh, you don't have to. Plus, 
Plus, uh, if you don't have, like, any, like, if you have Nintendo Online but you don't have any friends that own the game, there's plenty of websites where people will, like, trade for you and stuff. Like, trade things with you. It's more, like, I don't know this much of a progression-based game so much of, like, a... It's just a fun, relaxing game. You can play it completely solo and just decorate your island and relax. And do cute events with your villagers. But there are also like plenty of online sites where you can organize trading with people for things that you want. I'm still very upset about the, uh... The way that they're doing these mushroom DIYs, because they know how much everybody who plays this fucking game loves a cottagecore aesthetic. So they know that even though this is some bullshit-ass way to get these DIYs, that we will still sit here and do it. Because we want a cute little mushroom palace in front of your house. I think Nookazon is another one. Nookazon. I think is a place where you can trade and buy stuff. <gasps> Baby Yoda number two. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> is that one of you who just tried to make the account and found it was taken? Terry D, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I don't know why you can't get them from villagers either. Like every other... Uh, Every other thing. The internet's been good this stream, by the way, too, which makes me hopeful that I can actually play some Link to the Past tomorrow. Okay, after this next balloon spawns, I need to go check the internal temperature of the turkey. <laughs> so make sure... It's supposed to get done in like 20 minutes. But it's apparently not that low because multiple people, people in my Discord have gotten it twice and they offered to give it to me. And I was like, that's great and all. And if the time frame ends before I get it, then sure. But right now it's a matter of principle. I have, I need it. I'm stubborn. <laughs> Oh, the last stream was like, what, five hours? Six hours of doing this? Straight? <laughs> and then I did it off stream for like another ten hours the day before. I just want... The lamp. I'll buy the table off of someone. I'll buy the table off of someone, I don't care. Because I, I only need like one or two of those. But I want to cover my island in mushroom lamps. Like I said, I don't want to make somebody stand there and craft for me. Yeah. Kenzie. <laughs> Last stream we devolved into chaos. It was not good. Yeah, I mean the lamp I feel like is... is the saw after one, you know? Did one not spawn? Oh, that's fine, game. I didn't want a balloon at all anyway. I didn't need a blue balloon spawn. It's not like I'm sitting here... ...waiting for a balloon. It makes a whoosh. Whoosh. <laughs> like, so, when they all come from the same side... ...every day, and then once... Every, like, five minutes is a chance that one will spawn. But I guess we didn't get one this round. I'm going to very quickly go check my turkey.
Turkey's on schedule. So, let me set a timer. I can stream another like 45 minutes. Before I have to finish cooking. I'm shocked because our oven usually sucks and is like off and takes longer. Well, it's not just that, it's also because of the altitude. Things take longer to cook up here. The altitude makes all of the cooking times different. I, I mean, if I get it off stream, that's fine too. Like, I just want it. <laughs> I'm in Arizona. I live in a valley, but I live like in a highly elevated valley. <clears throat> There should be one spawning. No, I didn't. It's sitting up by my house. But I still need to get one myself. <gasps> what color are you? Wait, wait, wait. If I don't know, why does it only give me yellow balloons and they just give me fucking bells and I'm already rich? I already have this one! Yeah, you can have it, Kenzie. <laughs> you can have it, Kenzie. What does it look like? It looks like a penis. If I'm being honest. It looks like a dick. You guys could have made it the red and white spotted one and it wouldn't look so phallic. But yet, no. <laughs> Y'all did this, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing! How come... This is allowed, but when I draw an 8 pixel penis in the fireworks in the sky, my TikTok gets taken up for nudity. If I uploaded a TikTok just like this, I guarantee you to get taken down for nudity at some point. Because there's some little group of people on TikTok who see me do anything like this and go, No! The Spider-Man one was fair, honestly, though. <laughs> the Spider-Man TikTok getting removed was fair. However, I do not think the pixel dick is fair because the other TikTok that has the pixel dicks in the background secretly is not taken down and is still up and has not been removed. But the one of me drawing the dick is not allowed. <laughs> Angelic Rosing for the follow. It'll be, look, it'll be, I wonder if they use the same bot that uh, when they instituted no not safe for work content on Tumblr, they instituted Yahoo used this bot to scan pictures and it would literally see a sand dune and be like, that's a titty, and then just like delete it. <laughs> Wonder if TikTok uses the same thing. They have to, right? Oh, I forgot to add another mushroom. It's not a sand titty, it's just a fucking You know what I'm talking about, D Ray. Actually, I think where's the TikTok? I think I could just throw it on stream. The one that got removed, and that was my first shadow ban, and now I get shadow banned every other fucking week. <laughs> it, but I get salty about it because I do be scrolling through my TikTok and seeing someone's like vagina out. But this is this. It's not allowed. I draw a penis. There's no sound. No, don't ban me. You let me do this. A penis. But this got removed. This uh, is I, nudity, that's too guys. much. Wait, that's too much. That's guys, too much. TikTok I don't like that. Nudity. <laughs> For some reason, adding the flesh tone to it really just took it a step further than my comfort. <laughs> now let's see if their system will st like if they have a penis identifying Meanwhile, system and be like okay, absolutely. This TikTok not. is still up. 
This one doesn't have any noise anyway, it's just music. This TikTok's still up. This is just me showcasing the firework event. They're right there! <laughs> the dicks are still there! I zoomed in on it! <laughs> Inconsistent. Be if you're it be consistent. Be consistent with your no nudity TikTok. Yeah, I don't. It's eight pixels, man. No, it's not. It's a video because uh the Spider-Man one is me saying it's the s it's the s the spider-man one is uh i don't specifically say what uh i don't say exactly what the spider-man video is in the tiktok <laughs> but i put it on screen and it do be just two men and spider-man <laughs> slapping each other's butts There's no- there's no balloon again. But yes, Kenzie, you may have my, uh, fall DIYs. I have a mushroom wand, and then I think there's- I dropped a forest wall over here? Yeah, a forest wall. I need to empty my inventory, though. I, I don't know that that's a mushroom one. I think it's a, a fall one. Like, a generic fall one. It's this. It's very cute. I just... I, it's not my mushroom lamp. Not the lamp. I need the lamp. Oh, turn up prices. 89. Like, my overlay right now is such an eyesore, but I'm trying. Oh no, I need that. I'm trying desperately to manifest this mushroom. It worked for Gritty. Oh, why'd I say no? I would just trash it, but they don't let you throw live fish in the garbage can. Have fun, Tom. I hope the boy who said he tested positive for COVID did not show up to your Thanksgiving meal, because that's absolutely wild. Imagine risking your close family's health just to eat some turkey. Like, knowingly risking if you test it positive. Why would- why? My brain hurts. Why is it even a thought that they might show- <laughs> God, this music is good, though. The sitting emote's so cute! Did I say I was streaming tomorrow? I don't even remember my own schedule. No. I think I did. Yes. I am streaming tomorrow. Hopefully a little bit of Animal Crossing and then... Fingers crossed, no internet problems, we can play Link to the Past. God, this is... <sighs> Wait, I- okay, this is... 
I don't know why my brain is like this, but we have a larger audience of people now. Do y'all know how to throw it back in Animal Crossing? <laughs> y'all want to learn how to throw it back in Animal Crossing? <laughs> how to alienate every new person who just joined. This is- see, this is why I can't ever be successful. My brain's like, look at all these people that I could force to watch this cursed-ass thing I want to do. Look at all these people who <laughs> are gonna watch. This is royalty-free, by the way. Here we go. The new reaction update gave you more throwback options. You're welcome. There are several now. There's these two. Oh, oh. I think there's another one. I think the flower sniffing one. This one. Yeah. Like, they added- before, we only had this one. Now there are so many. Like, look at this shit. If you do the excited one next to villagers, by the way, they try to mimic you. So it looks like the villager is also throwing it back. Look at the views <laughs> It's fair. It all- you can make a villager look like they're throwing it back. Because Rosie walked up to me while I was doing it and started doing it too, and it's great. It's wonderful. The new emos are just cute and uh, I think it's somewhat random. Like, I've gotten DIYs out of all of them. I just think the red ones used to have more DIYs in them. I don't think it can- I think it's just random now. Except for the gold ones always give me fucking money and nothing else. Let's- maybe I have to start censoring myself. I mean, not really, but at least like- because I don't think people- Get their stuff taken down for saying fuck on TikTok. But maybe they don't like the word penis. Maybe I should say beepus or penis. I can't do family friendly. It's too cursed. Oh, I gotta email my business email for my for another like for a business opportunity, which I don't get many of those. But it is just an anti aging cream, which makes me feel. You think I'm old? <laughs> Do you think I'm old, company? The or or alternatively, the people who watch my TikToks are like. Teenagers. How, what, uh, what about my cursed ass content makes you think that I would sell an anti-aging cream? I didn't even know how to put on makeup properly until like three years ago. <laughs> and properly now is a stretch. I just, what? Yes, I am old. Thanks. Fair, but high static. <laughs> but like, what what about my content makes you think that I would sell an anti-aging cream? It's all gaming. There's not, like, I have one video of me putting makeup on, and it's me putting makeup on horribly. And then painting my face, like, gritty. Yeah, the e-girl one. I mean, maybe the one of me putting on the gritty makeup, but I do like if that's what made you think this person could sell my cosmetics. I haven't uploaded a TikTok of the Ronald McDonald yet. 
If me putting gritty face paint on is what makes you think this is who I want to sell my cosmetics, I, you've got... Hmm. Maybe you should think, re hire a different marketer. Hire a different consultant. Buy my makeup merch. <laughs> yeah, buy my makeup merch. I'm a beauty guru. I can't even- well, to be fair, when I did try to do that wing liner, I don't have the eye shape for the e-girl liner. That's why I don't do that. I don't have the eye shape. I have downturned drew, uh, hooded eyes. So you can't get that sick. That's why now it just... Uh, it's just a straight line. It's just a straight line now. I saw someone on TikTok do this and called it puppy dog liner when it's kind of downturned, but that's just how my eye shape is. And I think it looks much better than me trying to do. No, static, like. Um. Streaming's not my job as much as I would like it to be, but even if it was, I don't believe in taking sponsorship for things that I don't think work. And collagen face creams are like right on the edge of snake oil and actually working. Like, there's no, like, collagen does help a little bit, but the idea that like a $50 cream with collagen in it is going to do anything is like, mm -mm. I would not take that. I don't believe in it. I'm very, one of my biggest pet peeves is snake oil products and anything that says anti-aging is at least... 25% snake oil, if not more. <laughs> Hi, Pash. Snake oil is a, a term an English term to talk about um, fake medicine or fake th cure-alls. Like, there is a period of time in medical history where we didn't really know how things worked, so people would just put together a bunch of random ingredients that kinda did stuff and be like, this cures cancer. This is anti-aging. This... It happened during a time where the, there was no such thing as the FDA and there's no way to tell if these things were fake, but, like, it still happens nowadays. Like, when people, like... the A good example is Bang Energy. Their CEO claims that it halts... his words, mental retardation. Which he actually, I think, is trying to say. Like... Degenerative diseases I think well no but making medical claims about things is still like it's not what that aren't medical is snake oil like CBD does have some has like a mild amount of proven uses mostly for very specific seizure disorders but people will try to sell you CBD by saying it cures autism that it fixes your back pain, that it does, like, that it helps with cancer, that it helps with arthritis, and, like, it does anecdotally help some people, but by making, like, making those claims without actual research is snake oil. Without actual studies that show that it does help those things, it's snake oil. It's fine if you take CBD and you think that it helps your anxiety. That's great for you. That's wonderful. But a company selling you CBD oil, telling you this cures anxiety, this this fixes anxiety, is lying. <laughs> you can't say that without studies to show that it is real. I'm not saying CBD might not have those qualities. It probably does have some of those qualities. We just don't have a lot of um, research around weed because it was heavily restricted for a long time. 
But that's snake oil. That's the equivalent of snake oil. Uh, what was the other popular thing that was going around? Like, a lot of superfoods border on snake oil. I don't know. Chiropractors are in that. Chiropractors aren't necessarily snake oil. Chiropractors do have some evidence of helping. No, there was another... And a lot of the stuff on Gwyneth Paltrow's site goop. It's pretty snake oily. Yeah, no, chiropractors are actually doing something. Whether or not they benefit everyone is iffy, and they're a form of alternative medicine. I, I think, just like, I think chiropractors actually do help some people. That's like a physical motion. No, it is not an evidence-based practice. There's, well, that's the thing. The, so here's the thing with that. The reason why it's I think it's different than snake oil. When you do a study with somebody with CBD, you can give them a placebo. Or not even CBD. Like, most medicines or things like that. You can give them a placebo, and then you can run an accurate double-blind study. You cannot- how do you trick someone into thinking that you cracked their back when you didn't? Like, it's ve the reason it's not evidence-based is it's incredibly difficult to do a study of chiropractor, like, to the extent of, like, an evidence-based- does that make sense? Like, you can't actually get a real evidence-based study of chiropractor in this- uh, chiropract- chiropractors, the act of, I don't know the term. In the same way that you can do... Like a, a pill. Right? A pill, you can pretend to give the pill to somebody. And do a double-blind study. And that is the most accurate way to get evidence-based practice. But you can't trick someone into thinking that you cracked their spine when you didn't. And the placebo effect is very strong, so even if you did do a study of people who did get chiropractor, like, help for a long time... Homeopathy's a scam. Also. Homeopathy is for sure snake oil. Hope there's no... But, like, that's why, like, uh, acupuncture and uh, chiro... Uh, like, chiropractic medicine are, are considered alternatives, because it's very difficult to actually do a proper study. I think a chiropractor who says that it can sometimes assist with back pain or any sort of, like, motor thing, I wouldn't consider that steak oil. Now, a chiropractor that tells you that it will cure cancer or, like, some other bullshit, that's snake oil. Most of the time, snake oil's modern fads is rooted in something... Uh, true and then taken to a dumbass extreme. Nine times out of ten, there's like a nugget of truth somewhere that this thing does actually help with one thing, and then people are like, mmm, nah, it cures everything. Chiropractic medicine I don't think is snake oil, as long as they're just talking about like physical aligning and problems with your like, uh, your skeletal muscular system. I don't consider that snake oil. I just think it's difficult to get a real evidence-based study with chiropractic medicine and acupuncture. Like, you can't fake poking someone with a needle. So you can't do a double-blind study. Homeopathy is just the idea that, like, diluting a small amount of something will somehow help. Homeopathy's wild. A lot of vitamins border on snake oil with the way they're marketed. Unless you have a vitamin deficiency diagnosed by a doctor, if you're living in a modern country, you most likely get enough of every vitamin that your body needs. 
And for most vitamins, anything in excess is absolutely pointless and does nothing one way or another. Yeah, Static, I think it's more of like a educational thing. Most people are health illiterate, so they don't actually know what medicine is. I think that's been made, the pandemic's made that pretty obvious that a lot of people are incredibly health illiterate. Which is not their fault, like, you're not a doctor, but having some level of health literacy is important. That's like when I would work in a doctor's office and ask someone if they have diabetes, and they'd go, no! And then in their list of meds, there'd be insulin, I was like, you're taking insulin, though. Oh, well, yeah, I take insulin, so my diabetes is gone. That's not how that works. There's no cure for diabetes, just treatment. You have diabetes. And we'll continue to have diabetes, most likely. That's a good example of, like, really common misconceptions of health literacy. <laughs> It's not, like, it's- there's treatment for diabetes, there's not a cure, you're gonna most likely always have it. I think some people can reverse their type 2 diabetes, but... There's some genetic factors too, Kenzie, but yes, it's type 2 diabetes is... from the overconsumption of sugar. But once you have it, it's very difficult to undo, because type 2 diabetes is just your body becoming desensitized to insulin and therefore you have to have more insulin in your bloodstream in order for your body to react properly. Type 1 diabetes is just you don't make insulin at all. Yeah, no, it, that's the same here, Static. It's just the amount of people that actually care. And also, I think it is similarly due to the fact that a lot of people here don't get health care unless something really bad happens because it's expensive. So, like, they're not going to their doctor regularly just for general checkups. So, like, the amount of time that they do have face to face with a doctor is probably a lot lower than somebody in a country that doesn't have the same form of health care that America does. Realistically, that probably contributes a lot to it. And just some people, like, don't care to learn. No balloon this time, either. I'm gonna add some fucking mushrooms, because it's been a while since we've even gotten a balloon. Chiropractic medicine can have some very serious side effects if done by somebody who does not know what they're doing. But there's not enough negatives for it to be, like, made illegal. Osteo- uh, you mean like, uh, osteopathic medicine? There's apps. okay. Would you like to know- Oh, this is- uh, do you know the difference between a DO and an MD? It's almost nothing. Osteopathic medicine uses a lot. And nowadays, in terms of medical school, they get the same training and then osteopathic doctors here then get the old school osteopathic medicine on top of... Like, they get all the same shit as... What is it called? Allopathic? They get all the same shit as an MD here. They do all of it. They do all the same shit and then they also get some training on the, like, physic- like, there's physical therapy osteopathic thing, which I'm not sure has, like, is also a little bit... sketch. Yeah. Well, no, so yeah, DOs in America I learn allopathic me medicine, boy, too. Yeah. Tristan Gamer, thank you for the follow. Boy, so in America, they learn- they learn the same thing as a regular allopathic doctor. They just also learn on top of that the weird physical therapy aspect of osteopathic medicine, which doesn't have, like, too much backing. And most DOs here don't really...
do that part of it. It's more so just a different school. And then they do have a little bit more focus on like preventative medicine. Or they used to. I think allopathic doctors have a higher focus on uh, preventative medicine now. That used to be... Oh, I hear a balloon. That allopathic MD medicine um, was just focused on treatment and medicine and osteopathic medicine was developed to be more preventative and try to like avoid the overuse of medicine, which is good, but also had this weird physical therapy aspect to it. But nowadays in America, a DO and an MD serve the same exact function. There's no difference. Some DOs practice the weird physical therapy shit and a lot of them don't. My doctor at one point was a DO. He was chill as fuck. I heard this balloon! Where'd it go? Science stream -y. I remember that was in the news because, or recently, because people were talking about the doctor that was taking care of Trump for COVID being a DO and like dunking on him. And I don't know if he deserves dunking on in general, because I did not pay attention to that, but he shouldn't be dunked on because he's a DO. <laughs> they are perfectly legit doctors. In the United States. I don't know about in other countries. In the United States, they're the same. I don't know if he deserves dunking on for other comments. But not because of his license. Yes. Yes. But I did see some news articles preying on people with health literacy, ta like talking shit about him being a DO. It does not. That's not why he. If he's an idiot, him having a DO is not why he's an idiot. <laughs> Dude, we haven't got balloon in so long. Why though? We just haven't even gotten to shoot a balloon. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Although I don't know because I I like medicine, and I feel like science is incredibly important because science has a meaning and it means evidence base, especially medicine. So that means there has to be proof. If you are a figurehead of science and medicine and you lie without any proof simply because of political pressures, fuck you, you're an idiot. <laughs> Science and medicine should not be political. Because it is evidence-based. How can that be political if it's evidence-based? Big brain. It's time to no, fuck no. I- I- All politicians is bad. Career politicians is bad, y'all. In general. Fuck that. Don't idolize politicians. Any- on any- any politician. They're supposed to be public servants, they're not supposed to be idolized. I- am I here? Am I crazy? I hear a balloon. I just want a mushroom ramp. I guess we're not gonna get this stream, we're just gonna suffer. I can't believe 200 plus people stuck around to listen to me bitch about the American healthcare system again. <laughs> While running around on Animal Crossing Island with a screen covered in mushrooms.
Mushrooms are very cool. Thank you, Dr. Ferned. I will get this mushroom lamp. Dude, I'm so hungry. I ate breakfast. Oh, be woo. I bre ate breakfast early before I started cooking, and I'm starving. But we still have. Let's see, my turkey is gonna be done in like 10 minutes, so that's when we're ending stream. But then I still have like. It has to rest for 30 minutes, and the side dishes have to go in while it's resting. I still have like another 40 minutes before you need. Um, why is it a... Why is it gold? Why is it bells again? No, they're, they're done. They're all prepped. They just have to go in the oven. There's no cooking involved. They're all prepped. We prepped them all last night and this morning. My depth perception? Alright, let's see. This is probably the last one of the stream. Maybe one more. moved all of the mushrooms. Can I get this little guy? I want this little mushroom. My OBS is gonna crash at some point. And I deserve it. I'm not gonna cover Popcat. I love Popcat. That's true. It 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 would take look, I don't know how people burn turkeys. It like it would take so much to burn a turkey, dude. It would like it I don't understand how people burn turkeys. How do you do that? There's no like I just don't get it. How do you burn a turkey? And even then, like, you just take the outside off and the inside of the turkey usually should be good. Like, how long did you leave that turkey? And at what temperature did you leave that turkey for it to get fucking burnt? I have. That's just so fucking funny. I lost it when this dude was like, I'm gonna make a vegetarian grilled cheese. And then just, like, put cheese directly on a griddle. And I thought it was a- I- the, uh, He was 100% Oh no, okay, no. I want to show the cheese turkey on stream, but I do feel like that's T- Do you think the cheese turkey's TOS? Chef's Club Thanksgiving. Do you- Say <laughs> the cheese turkey is T. No, it's cooking, right? It's not TOS. Hi, Kenzie. I don't think it. It feels TOS. It's not. It's cooking. It's a cooking video, right? It feels TOS. Shh. 
Chef's Club is... The Chef's Club channel is a joke. It is a sick joke. It is, in fact, a horrible, horrible joke. There's no way it's not. Tash, I hate you for saying this. Alright, so like, here is, this is a YouTube, this is a channel called Chef's Club, they put shit on. Oh, they got a TikTok now, y'all! <laughs> they make food hacks, but they're like, the worst. Alright. This is their Thanksgiving turkey video. This is- this thing is fine. I see no problem with this. Alright, whole potatoes going in. That's fine. I guess. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> Why? No, not Americans, Mon. Nobody, nobody watches this and goes, fuck yeah, I would tear this up. Nobody. Nobody watches this and goes, hell yeah, I would tear that thing up. No, I would not. That's disgusting. It's funny hot cheetos. And who serves a turkey like this? <laughs> it's fucking vile. It's vile, dude. This whole video is fucking insane. They just get like this. If you ever just want to look at like some horrific food content, this Chef's Club, you're welcome. It's cursed. It's so bad. Like, this doesn't seem like it'd be that bad, but this is a lot of fucking brie. This is so much. Wait, there's another one in here that's like... This one! Okay, wait, wait, wait. This one, I... Don't understand. And then I have to end stream because my turkey's gonna be ready. <laughs> Is there a worse one? Now it's just this one. This is why, okay? Just somebody explain to me why they <laughs> making a bong. Chef's Club, what are we doing here? It does, it does look like a, uh, it does look like a form of a virus. Like, can you- where do you guys think we're going with this? Vanilla ice cream. That you have- You can melt that ice cream in so many other ways, though. Like, it don't gotta be like this. A nasty bong. This is like brownie bites, I guess, that you can dip, which is fine. On its own. This is the part where I'm like, hey, what the fuck is this presentation? What is this? Why is it in an egg? <laughs> Why isn't it just in the cup? I can't. 
I like this. The turkey though, like haunts my damn memories. The turkey one haunts my memories. I think that's it. All right. Well. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Is it's time for me to finish cooking Thanksgiving dinner. So thank you, everybody who stuck around from the raid. I appreciate you. Anyone who was here before the raid, I appreciate you. We're gonna... Next stream is tomorrow? At 1pm Pacific. We're gonna play some Animal Crossing and then hopefully some uh, Link to the Past if my internet's not dead. Which I'm gonna be mad if it is. Dude, there's no one streaming right now. I mean, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Wait, is Mud streaming? Yes, I'll stream Mud. Braid Mud. Trade Mud. Minecraft! Yeah, 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 we read Mud. All right. <laughs> Everyone say what? I would prefer we not. There are so many people here, Pash, that just don't know. Don't know what you're saying. There's no context. Yeah, you could gobble. I know, I know Mud would appreciate that, but there's so many people here that have no I any context for what the fuck you are writing. Oh damn, look at all those potatoes. Alright, uh, I'll see some of you guys tomorrow. Have a happy Thanksgiving slash Turkey Day if you celebrate it, and stay safe. Bye, well, we're leaving. <laughs> Goodbye, Will. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>